Should the Seattle Mariners sign Tim Anderson? Find out more in today's video. So with all the talk around Whit Merrifield and Donovan Solano possibly becoming Seattle Mariners this offseason, I decided to switch it up and add one more player to the mix. And that would be 30-year-old free agent Tim Anderson. And I know what you guys are thinking, Tim Anderson, he had a 60 WRC+, plus, a negative war, all that stuff. But I'm going to dive a little bit deeper onto why Tim Anderson could possibly be a good pickup for the Seattle Mariners. I'm also going to be doing a little bit comparing him to Whit Merrifield since Whit has been the main conversation amongst us Mariner fans. So I figured it'd be good for you guys to kind of get a little bit of comparison on how they both play. But first, let's start with a little bit of background on Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson is a 282 career hitter. Up until last season, he had four straight seasons of consecutive 110 WRC plus seasons, where in two of them, he posted over a two war and in the other two, he posted of over a 4.5 war which is extremely impressive to put up over a four war at any time in your career, let alone do it twice. For the most part of his career, he's kind of averaged anywhere between that 2.4 to 2.5 range with those two big breakout years that I discussed where he had over a four and a half war. So the guy can play. In terms of last year, the White Sox had a lot of struggles. They were way worse than a lot of people expected them to be. And they had a lot of front office problems. And as we all know, the famous fight that Tim got into with Jose Ramirez. So overall, it was just a really bad year for Tim and also the White Sox as well, which definitely could have factored into Tim's performance. But now in terms of what you get out of Tim Anderson, he's definitely a high average hitter. He strikes out about league average with a very below average walk rate. So he does not walk a lot. And here are his baseball savant pages from 2021 and 2022. I don't want to put 20 23 up there because obviously he had a horrible year and really there's nothing impressive on that baseball savant page. But as you can see, very similar to Whit Merrifield, he does offer speed as well as he is an above average fielder. In his 2022 baseball savant, you can see there's a lot more greats than there was in 2021. Now he doesn't hit for power and he's not going to drive in 100 runs a season. But where this can kind of come into play and really help the Mariners is the fact that Tim clearly did not have a good season last year due to a lot of different factors. But going back, this allows him to play second base, which is a little bit more calmer than shortstop, as well as move Rojas and Urias and keep them at third together. And to be honest, having Tim Anderson probably in your eight, nine spot could be a relief to him and take a lot of pressure off his back. And essentially, this would kind of be more of a prove it deal than anything else. So with Whit Merrifield, you most likely go out and spend about $7 million a year on him for probably two or three years. But with Tim Anderson, you kind of have that flexibility to go out and just offer him a one-year deal so he can go out and play and prove himself. And like I previously stated in my last video, Whit Merrifield's probably going to get 7 to $9 million AAV, while Tim Anderson's looking about $5 million. So he's kind of a decent balance between Solano and Merrifield in terms of how much he would be able to sign for. And he's another guy that fits into kind of that average role where he's not going to be striking out too many times, but he's going to hit for higher average, which is apparently what Jerry has been looking for this entire offseason. And I also kind of just want to compare to Whit Merrifield as well and compare the two stellar seasons that they both had in 2021. And to show you just Tim Anderson isn't some bum. He had one really bad year and he kind of gets a bad rep for it. But this is a guy that can just truly help elevate your lineup, especially in the bottom three. So in 2021, Tim Anderson played in 123 games while Whit Merrifield played in 162. Tim had 527 ABs while Whit Merrifield had 664. Tim had 163 hits while Witt had 184 hits. So he only had 21 less hits and about a little less than 140 less at bats, which is extremely impressive. They both walked at a similar clip of 4.0 versus a 5.6. Witt had about a 7% less strikeout rate than Tim did. Here's where things kind of get interesting. Tim Anderson posted a WRC plus of 118 during this season, while Witt Merrifield only posted an 89 WRC plus. And in terms of wins above replacement, Tim Anderson posted a 4.6 while Witt posted a 3.0. So this is kind of comparing the two players and two stud years that they both had. It kind of shows the value that Tim Anderson could really bring to this lineup. And let's also not forget the elephant of the room that Whit Merrifield is also five years older than Tim Anderson is. So arguably some could say that Tim Anderson is kind of in his prime years, if not coming to the end of them, but still in them. While Whit Merrifield's only getting older and he's going into his 35 age season. So again, you're not going out and signing Tim Anderson to put him in your two hole or anywhere higher up in the lineup. But if you really want to go out and fill that second base hole and allow Josh Rojas to go over to third base where he's more comfortable, Tim Anderson definitely needs to be on the radar. And again, a lot of you in this video might hate this idea and kind of just hate Tim Anderson as a player, which is fine. And is also a 282 career hitter. So again, he's not a bum. And with the luck we've had with our second baseman these past few years, Tim Anderson could definitely be an upgrade and also help in the bat to ball department and not so many strikeouts. So again, this is probably another long shot, just kind of similar to Whit Merrifield is because at the end of the day, this is all just speculation. And we're kind of hoping they just go out and make one of these moves as we all believe we do definitely need one or two more bats. But it's definitely an interesting player to think about. And please let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Tim Anderson as a player and if you think he can come in and help the Mariners out. But otherwise, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.